Yes, good people, welcome back to a little less furry guitar manifesto. And today we are checking out one of my favorite budget guitars, the Squire Bullet Mustang HH. So one of the most common questions I get asked in the comment section is which guitar is best for a beginner, a Strat, a Telecaster, even a mini jazz master. And I would say the Bullet Mustang is a pretty awesome guitar for a beginner. Now a Telecaster, again, nice guitar, good for beginner, nice and simple. A Strat is a little bit more complicated because you've got five different playing positions and you've got a tremolo system. Mini Jazz Master, I've made a video on them before and I don't particularly like them, but I think the Bullet Mustang is pretty much the best bare bones guitar you can get for the money. You've got two humbucking pickups, a three-way selector switch, a volume, tone control, hardtail bridge, 24 inch scale, so it's a short scale guitar. Offset, always pretty darn cool. The Bullet Mustang has got the belly cut. For the more mature figure like myself, this is a, a nice addition, but they are really comfortable to play. They're not too heavy, they're nice and light, but not too light where it's unbalanced. So it's a nice, well-balanced guitar, good little layout, and they're just damn cool Mustangs. Now I recently bought this on eBay for 65 pounds with free shipping, minty fresh condition. It popped up on a bite now, so I was whoosh, I was straight all over that. Now these Bullet Mustangs have been out for a, quite a few years now. I think they come out around 2017, that sort of time. And um, the early ones had a different Mustang font on the headstock there. The ones with a bigger font that sort of curves around, they come with a flat 12 inch radius fingerboard. Now the later versions of these have got a smaller font on the Mustang decal and they come with a nine and a half inch radius fingerboard which is a bit more pleasing for me to play personally. Um, yeah, like I say, it's a hard tail, no string through body, really easy, nice simple setup. Now being a 24 inch scale, short scale guitar, it's a bit easier to stretch your fingers out and get used to playing. Now personally, I'd have no problems gigging with one of these out the box, they are pretty damn good to go. The pickups can sound a little bit muddy, a little bit trebly, but if you want a bare bones guitar, these are an awesome modding platform. Uh, if you want to change out them pickups or upgrade the pots and the caps, it's nice and simple. There's a swimming pool routing inside, so basically it's just got a big cavity in there, so you can change the pickups around, get a new pick guard, maybe put the pickups at an angle, stick a single coil in the neck, there's so much you can do with these. The later model is the Sonic model that replaced the Bullet. Pretty much the same guitar, but they did do them with single coils as well. So yeah, these are awesome guitars. And for 65 quid for a first guitar, this is pretty damn cool. Now I've bought a lot of these over the years, brand new used and they're Always pretty much good out of the box. They'll need a little tweak. I have done setup videos on these before, so if you're new to playing guitar, setting up your own guitar is pretty darn easy with just some simple tools. But like I say, a nice simple guitar, and they do sound pretty good as is. But if you keep your eye out in the usual places like Facebook Marketplace or eBay or even Reverb, you can pick these up really cheap. So for £65, I got myself a minty fresh guitar in this sweet gloss black color, it's got a poplar wood body, one ply pick guard, like I say, two humbucking pickups, nice simple layout, three-way selector switch, volume tone, output socket, hardtail bridge, you've got a maple neck with a skunk stripe down the back, these are crafted in Indonesia, it's a C profile neck, and these do feel silky smooth, there's no sharp frettings on these, like I say, these are 24 inch scales, so 24 inches from the nut to the bridge saddles there, 42 millimeter plastic nut, you've got an Indian Laurel fingerboard, narrow tool frets, there's 22 frets, you've got that large headstock with modern style tuners, and yeah, for 65 quid, that is a beast of a guitar. So for today's demo, I'm gonna to play to a backing track to give you an idea of what these sound like in the mix. I'll be playing a mixture of rhythm, lead guitar, playing some clean and some heavier stuff. we a few effects in there, like I say, just to give you an idea of what these sound like. I'll just be playing with that bridge pickup because let's face it, that's what most people use anyway. And uh, yeah, let's plug her in, let her rip.
there you go. That is my pick. If you want an awesome budget guitar, these Squire Bullet Mustangs or even the Sonic ones are killer guitars for the money. So much fun to play. They sound pretty decent as is, but like I say, if you want a little modern guitar, you can upgrade these and pretty much do whatever you like to them, you know, change the pickup layout, you can even stick a P90 in there for something a bit different, or if you want to go back to the old school way, if you route out a bit of this body here under the pick guard, you can put the switching in. I've also done a video of that before. But if you're a beginner guitarist, they definitely get my seal of approval. So let me know what you think to it in the comment section below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and make sure you get notifications set to all so you can stay up to date on all the latest videos. Also follow me on Instagram and Facebook, The Guitar Manifesto, and that will do for today. So thanks for watching, see you all soon. Peace. Guitar Manifesto.